Alright, this is Vegeta8259, and this is part four of the real grade Gundam review. And, actually, let me raise this camera up. Oops. And since uh, we left off last time, I did go and add some more stuff to the inner frame. The front skirts I added on, and back skirts. Uh, I added these little uh, plates on the back of the hands. This chest piece I added. The inner frame of the shoulder armor I added. The neck. And the inner frame of the head. So, uh, actually the inner frame that Bandai shows us on the side of the box here isn't really a very good representation of the full inner frame because they're just showing you the very, very, very basic inner skeleton when actually the inner frame is a bit more substantial than that. So anyway, now that we've got the inner frame done, oh, I also put the uh, ankle armor on. Now that we've got the inner frame done, uh, let's go ahead and start painting it. So let's take a trip outside. Alright, so we have moved outside, and this isn't all the parts of the inner frame, but uh, I just brought some of them out here. And this little push cart here is my painting setup. Uh, as you can see, it's I've got all my spray paint cans down there, and this is basically like my little workstation. And I've got a big block of styrofoam here for putting the parts in, obviously. And the way I prefer to paint is to take bamboo skewers and I went to the craft store and just bought several of these little alligator clips and clipped them on or taped them on or somehow or another attached them to the end of the bamboo skewer and then after that it's pretty simple you just clip the parts onto the uh, little alligator clip stick them in the star foam and then you have a very convenient place to paint and dry your kits and my dog is yelling at something Anyway, so now we're just going to spray paint these parts. Let me set this camera up here, and here we go. Now, first off, um, using two colors, flat black and uh, kind of a metallic gunmetal color, and I'm just going to kind of mix and match. But first off, we are going to need primer. I'm using a gray primer and the way I paint my parts is basically just a quick little bursts of paint and that's really about all you need not like you can really see it from this distance but uh, you that's one mistake that a lot of people make with spray paint when they first start with it is that they just spray and spray and spray until there's paint literally dripping off of the part. And that's really the wrong way to do it. Um, what you want to do is just spray until there is just enough paint on the part that uh, all the plastic is covered. So you're going to be using as thin of a coat of paint as possible. Just like that. And you'll also notice that I'm not spraying continuously, I'm just using quick little bursts. That helps to uh, not put too much paint on the part. And I'm just going to prime these really quick. There we go. And really, with primer especially, you don't need that much paint. Just enough to get the parts covered. Because you're going to want that primer coat to be as thin as possible. Alright, so I'm going to start using this metallic charcoal, which is just kind of a gunmetal color. And basically do the exact same thing. Just quick little bursts of paint and just enough to get the part covered. You don't need the parts to be 
you know, dripping with paint. And as far as the color combinations, I'm using these two different colors, this metallic charcoal and this uh, black. And I'm not really doing it according to any rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of going with whatever my gut instinct tells me. So I'm going to do these arms in black and some of these other parts in charcoal. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. And as you can see, I've painted about half of them. I'm going to finish painting these. And then, uh, since it's incredibly hot outside today, uh, they shouldn't take very long to dry at all. And then I will bring them inside and we will hand brush some uh, details on them to make it look a little bit more interesting. So with that, I will see you at part five.